Well, hello everybody. Uh, it's Ben Bowler from Unity Earth, and I'm really super excited to be sitting down uh, with someone whose musical ministry I've been a fan of ever since uh, John Raymer introduced me to Nemo's music uh, oh, a number of years ago now. We got to meet at the Parliament of World's Religions in Toronto in 2018. Nemo yeah. Patel, brother, it's great to be with you. Welcome to Peace Week. Peace, brother. Peace be upon our planet. Thank you, Ben. I, it's really a blessing to be here and just to be a part of your your uh, world family as well, man. Uh, everybody working towards a mission that we all deeply, deeply live by. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And it's super exciting. You know, Nima, we we're just having a little chat about the, the different events happening globally uh, around the world. And they're all interdependent in all these beautiful ways of coming together. And at the heart of it is heart. Right, <laughs> rip it all back. At the heart of it is hard, and you're there in, in Gujarat, India, uh, mm -hmm. and in Gandhi's ashram where you live and work and uh, and 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 serve your musical ministry. So I'm super excited to sit down with you, Nemo. We've got a brand new song, uh, "We the People," that's just this week released. That we're going to be talking about. It's a really great honor. Tell us a little bit before we get into that particular song, which is such a beautiful healing medicine for, you know, the division in the United States, but it's relevant to the whole planet right now. Um, tell us a little bit about um, tell us a little bit about your mission. Brother, you know what? It's so it's so aligned. My mission is that uh, as as many of ours is, you know, that there's there's suffering in the world. And how can we offer our lives as a small instrument to, to, to heal, to serve, and in whatever costume, whatever capacity. And to be honest, music, I was in a band. It was the first Indian hip hop group in the world from 1998 to 2008. And I stopped music after that. And I didn't have any intention to come back. Um, but as I've been serving here at the Gandhi Ashram and with our organization, Manav Sadhana, working with underprivileged children in the in the slum communities, uh, in the townships here, um, they kind of inspired me to start writing music again. And when I realized that music can be of service is kind of how I reconnected and redeveloped a relationship with it. So, I, I you know, even though you got to kind of label yourself as a musician or artist, I really rather just call, you know, call myself a servant in whatever way, because I'm so glad that music can be of service in, in healing and in spreading love. And the, and the work that we're doing out here as a family is really geared in a small way. I love Mother Teresa's quote, um, small things with, with great love. And I think that has been um, something that has been a guiding light for me, the idea that we can, we can be in the nooks and crannies and really offer ourselves fully to healing, to helping, to listening, to serving, building a child's future, whether it's their education or their health journey or their personal development journey. In, in spaces that these children or women have no access to getting any type of support and being able to be a small part of that development of that community of that human being of that family. Um, that's what the work we do in and we work in eight different slum communities across this city it's a I'm the a population of about eight to nine million probably it's probably considered a small town in India. <laughs> but um, yeah, we do our small part here and we have hundreds of volunteers that come right now we have three volunteers from Germany who are who have never been to India, never spoken the language, but they're, they've decided they're going to spend a year here with us. And they're the first uh, batch of volunteers post COVID. So we're excited. But like that, we are able to do our grassroots work and also plant seeds of love and transformation in the people that come through so that they go on to be their best uh, love, love warriors that they can be wherever they go back to in their world. Oh, Oh, brother, so much kudos, <clears throat> kudos and more, more strength to your arm, Nemo, and everybody there. Empty Hands Music is the label uh, of your musical ministry, and it's also the um, the name of, of the service work that you do there, as well as that uh, service work, uh, organization that you mentioned just before. But it's um, I love the idea that you got re-inspired to get back into using music uh, as ministry. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, that's something that, 
Um, we see a lot of around the world, a lot of our friends at Unity Earth are, are, are using the power of, of art in many different forms to serve the evolution of humanity. And you know, right at the coalface where you are uh, with, the, with the slums, in the slums, with the families, with the, with the, with the kids and the mums, uh, that's, that's really powerful, powerful work, brother. Um, some people will know you as uh, through the song Grateful, which is a real kind of hit in our community, Empty Hands Music and the song Grateful which uh, I don't know if you got John Raymer on a, on a commission or something, but he's been telling everybody about that. But actually, on a serious a note, Nima, I wanted to ask you about that because how do you make it work financially? I mean, this, this video we're about to show you, this is a beautiful music clip uh, filmed in New York. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. How do you, like financially, how do you do it? Because you don't sell your music. You don't, you're not charging for this. So how do you make it work? Man, it's such a it's actually a very deep question, actually, that has a lot of a uh, lot of complexity to it, yet the simplicity of it. When I Ben, when I first printed my first set of albums, 5000 back when CDs were <laughs> in 2014, when CDs albums were still being used, I, I it cost like eight thousand dollars to print 5000 CDs. And I and my dad was like, how much are you going to sell them for? And I said, Dad, I can't. I can't sell the message of kindness. It's not mine. I can't sell the message of gratitude. That's not mine. This is for the world. And he's like, well, that's very impractical coming from a business school mindset that you had. And I was like, well, you know, that's that's what it is. It's the universe's uh, music and message. And the friends and family that I have around the world, just like yourself, Ben, I feel like they're the noble friends have have been the the kind of the beacon of light for me and, and giving me faith that when you serve from this space, it all works out. And it has people have supported it from from left field from right field, I couldn't have planned it. It's not tit for tat. And it's like, you just do your part. And you come from a space of just pure heart and intention. And somehow, everything gets supported. And so financially, I do have a nonprofit empty hands and I make a very meager salary, which is considered poverty in America, but it allows me to sustain in India. Um, and these videos that we do, my dear sister, Ellie Walton, who's an amazing filmmaker. She's based out of Washington, DC. She's volunteered constantly to help me make these music videos. And obviously Empty Hands will try to support her in as much as much as possible. And other than that, I just spent I, I do spend a lot of hours in prepping and pre-producing and trying to share the message of the video with the people that are involved so that they come from a heart space as well. So the five dancers in the upcoming video, it took me maybe like three weeks nonstop to search, to audition, to talk to them, to share with them the mission and the intention before finding these five amazingly talented dancers to contribute their time and energy in a space that didn't feel so trans like a transaction, like they wanted to come for the purpose and the mission, you know? That is so, so beautiful. And, and I think a lot of people are going to resonate that with that Nemo, that the sincerity that you bring to something and the, uh, the authenticity just, you know, creates an attractiveness that the universe wants to support. So I'm really happy to hear that you're getting because you absolutely deserve it, brother. This is brilliant gifts to the world. Uh, and you just keep on giving them. So I mean, it's kind of amazing that you're working in, 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 in Ahmedabad in Gujarat, right on the coalface with <clears throat> in slums. And yet at the same time, You've obviously got such a big heart for, for your other home country in the United States. And, you know, it's been a tough five or six years there or maybe longer than that. But yeah. um, tell us about the inspiration for this song and the medicine that comes through this song. What what's your hope and, and what is it that you think it's addressing? Thank you for asking that, Ben, because it, it's it's deep rooted in my heart. I when COVID hit, I was in India. We were dealing with the lockdown and it was a really kind of uh, unknown space for this country because we didn't know how a, how a pandemic would would, especially in our communities that we work, we thought we might be taken out, you know, um, but luckily things were OK. Um, and then my family kind of was going through this personal situation that made me have to get to America ASAP. So I moved to Denver uh, with my brother and sister in law because they were going through a difficult time and it was 20, 20, uh, 20. Um, you know, during it was the election year. So I just got deeply involved because I had that space and time to m try to motivate people to go vote, not about which side it was on. It was just like, let's all just use our democratic, um, you know, capacity and blessing that we have to, to, mm -hmm. to put in our one vote. And so that was my my goal 
how do I use my time to support that mission of, of, of voting and, and speaking your voice no matter what you believe in? And as we went through the journey, uh, it was just obvious how, how bitter how bitter the process was for for people to just see how how obviously how politics are but even more so in this divisive space so by the time and, and then i vote you know then i was volunteering at the election bank um when, when on voting week um so i was you know putting my time in there so i was able to see like as a volunteer all of us were wanting to get people to cast their votes and all the bitter spiteness even for all the volunteers like oh you guys are trying to do this or you're trying to so it was just and and i'm not pointing fingers anyway it was just the energy field yeah yeah, yeah. and post elections it was just deeply uh deeply saddening you know to know that we're in this space as a humanity in the most in, in this most amazing country in this most amazing country and and so it just it just stuck in me and it was like how do i express what i feel like wh where do i start what's the message here and for me it was like man the message is that i love you uh that i know we're so different and that uh how do i just my myself as a human being take a step back and say no i want to listen to you i'm okay you know and this is not it's not only like left and right or here and there it's in our it's in, in your own family it's in oh, yeah. your neighborhood it's everywhere right so yeah. this idea of how do we bring it back together and give that space to respect each other even though we don't agree with each other and, and that's to me that's love in this space um and and that was kind of the inspiration that took me on this journey to try to put this song together um and then once i had a draft version of it then um you know, I started working closely with my brother, Daniel, and we created the music behind it to um, to get it to where, you know, it felt like the right vibe. It's a really beautiful piece uh, of work. Uh, the music, the song, the lyrics and the video. I mean, this is just really, as I said before, world class Nemo. So let's let's have a look at it. And let's have a listen to it. Hey, sure. we the world by by empty hands music. Let's go and check it out. Uh, just bring it up here. Um, and, and what came first? Just as I'm bringing it up, Nima, what came yeah. first, the music or the lyrics for this one? No, it was the lyrics because I was working on it to a different beat, actually. And I had finished it to a different beat. Yeah, so I got found a beat. I started working on the full song, finished that, and then wanted to reproduce it. And then that's when Dan and I started working on it together. All right. Let's uh, I'll get rid of that bar and uh, let's check it out. We the people. We all hurting, but it feel like we can't escape. We all skating, and it feel like the ice gonna break. We all breaking down, but nobody feeling my pain, your pain. But the good gon' come someday. Feel like we're talking in a bubble, but we're walking into trouble. Cause we ain't trying to listen, so we're mocking one another. Though we ought to be my brother, but we vote in different colors. Feels like we're choking each other. But the good gon' come. And the media don't eat what they're feeding us. I wish it was hope, but it's the same greed and fear that just might tear us apart. Right down at the seams again, but if you trust like I do, go grab your thread and needle. Cause we're stitching this back together for the weak and the feeble, for the rich and the poor. It's not good versus evil. We the brother, we the mother, we the sister, we all equal. We the ones to form a more perfect union for we the people. Yeah. Let's come together now. When we come together, then it's all right. Together we can make it through this fight. All I want to say is that the good gon' come. Good gon come. Don't ever let them tell you that there's two sides. Trying to figure out who's wrong and who's right. All I want to say is that the good gon' come. All I want to say is that the good gon' come. Yeah. We the people from Honolulu to Baltimore, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Anchorage, back to Arkansas. We the same people whose ancestors came off the shore. Some of us were already here. These are all of our stories. Who's ever prized freedom to dream of what's possible for the right to breathe in life, be treated in the hospital, the right to speak my mind and overcome the improbable, the white, black, brown, every skin color possible. We the same people with the same color of blood, the same people who mourned when 9-11 was done, the same people that stand in line to vote for what we 
believe in And when we disagree, to still agree to disagree with it That's why we're here, the land our grandparents dreamed of No matter where your roots are, the fruits are The same love, the same hopes, the same pursuit of happiness To keep on, realize there's never been two sides It's just we the people When we come together, then it's alright Together we can make it through this fight All I wanna say is that the good gon' come don't ever let her tell you that there's two sides Trying to figure out who's wrong and who's right All I want to say is that the good gon' come All I want to say is that the good gon' come There's no enemy lines And every time we listen We build heavenly ties And every time we pray We're changing the environment It used to be hate Now we're breaking down Smiling Don't ever let them tell you different Cause that's my ego Saying you can't make a difference Cause only we know that If we learn to love and listen We can see no other way To break it down Than we the people When we come together Then it's alright Together we can make it Through this fight all I want to say is that the good gon' come. come Don't ever let them tell you that there's two sides Trying to figure out who's wrong and who's right All I want to say is that the good gon' come and the good yeah. When we come together then it's alright Together we can make it through this fight All I want to say is that the good gon' come there's two sides Try to figure out who's wrong and who's right All I want to say is that The good go come All I want to say is that The good go come All I want to say is that The good go Brother, <clears throat> wow, wow. That is some piece of work. That is just a, a gift. A gift to America, a gift to the world. And you know what? It looked like you had a lot of fun. Yeah, we that. did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we went for boba tea afterwards. We are like, let's party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's amazing, Nemo. Just beautiful spirit and energy and vibe and uplifting and healing and expressing that you know, we're talking about the peace that pass uh, understanding, but here you're talking about a hope which goes beyond understanding, an optimism, a, a faith in the future that isn't entirely rational, right? If you're just looking at where we're at and what's going on and how we're going to get there, it's just a, it's a heart faith uh, that you express through that song, brother. Deep, deep bows. That is absolutely beautiful and brilliant. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I think that's all we can offer, right, is our intention and our spirit. Obviously, there's pragmatic things that everybody will say and I and actually Ben I, I thought about it I'm like I don't know if anybody will actually like this song because every everybody's so polarized <laughs> they're like I don't want to be there where you're at where you know what you're saying but I, I think um, just like just like in any space we have to we have to anchor what we believe in and and, and it helps um, give others hope that there is that space that we can reach and and we just keep walking in it and and we're not trying to solve the world's problems in in one day and none of the greatest spiritual leaders have so who are we to even expect that but we got to be we got to be and do what we believe in and i think that's what you know this song means to me that's right and those spiritual leaders i mean it's interesting I mean, let's you know just again acknowledge you coming from the place that's uh, really the the ashram that gandhi began and we know that the spiritual resources of india are so vast and are contributing so much 
uh, to emerging planetary culture through yoga and, and meditation. And so many, so many, too many ways to count. Uh, the gifts from India to the to the Earth are uh, are innumerable, um, and each of those spiritual lineages, Nima pushes our evolutionary process a little bit further along. And so, you know, nobody can solve all the problems, but we can do what's ours to do. And that's what you're modeling and you're doing with Empty Hands Music. I want to encourage everybody to get along to uh, Empty Hands. You can find uh, the track there, emptyhandsmusic.org is where you'll find that it's given free with uh, uh, so much of the music of uh, Nemo and uh, his collaborative partners. Uh, and you can also go there and support. So if anybody feels, hey, this is amazing, this guy's amazing, I love what he's doing, I love what this um, uh, platform is doing for the world, then get along there and uh, get out there and support Empty Hands Music because with more support, uh, Nemo's going to be able to do more. I'm going to sign up once we get off here. Um, Nemo's going to be able to do more, and uh, the world needs Nemo to do more, and the world needs <laughs> Empty Hands Music to do more. So that, that's on us, and uh, we'll do what we can to support you, brother. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you for bringing that, that youthful you know, uh, hope and optimism and we'd love to uh, maybe on a on a future follow-up chat Nemo love to learn more about the work you're doing on the on the ground in India um, so sure. this, is just, this is just the beginning sure Brad thank you thank you brother for providing the platform for uh, so many souls to to come together in unity on earth um, it, you know may peace prevail on earth and may you be blessed to continue to do your your ministry and work and we're all here to serve in that same cause brother thank you so much it's really true, Nemo, and we inspire each other eh, as we go along as brothers and as sisters and as mothers and uncles and everything else, right? But that's that's really, you know, that it's uh, it's super inspiring and just gives a sense of even more encouragement and optimism to hear a little bit about your story and uh, to see and witness a little bit of your service and ministry. And I think that that's going to be the turning point, Nemo, when there's just 10,000 points of light becoming 10 million points of light, right? And we're just, it's, it's the culture. It's a, it's a heart based, it's give first, it's, yeah. you know, serve. And, you know, these, and this is why we're drawn upon the full rich collective of human spiritual heritage is so vast. Uh, we have everything we need. And uh, thank yeah. you brother, for modeling that. And on we go. Lots of love, brother. See you next time. Thank you.